Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Inscription. We are back again and it has been a long time since I played this game. I actually batch recorded all of the videos you've seen up until now and I hadn't played for a month or so and now I'm back um, and I'm here and with Nevernamed. for one Hello. night only, he's got a special guest. I do because Nevernamed yeah. is a big into Inscription and knows a lot more about it than I do. And he said there's a yeah, lot I love of the game. there's a lot of Act 2 secrets that I should know about and probably won't. So he thought it'd be um, it'd be nice to yeah. show so, me some of those. I sort of follow this philosophy of, of being wanting to be a subtle guide. I don't want to just tell him everything. I want to like guide him to it so he can see it on his own and not give him any oh. any you know straight up answers. The hell is this? I don't know. What is it? It's a woman's face. But yes. Uh, okay. so, because it's been <laughs> a while since he played, we figured, you know, let it, I'll be here, help him get back into it, remind him of how to play, and just guide him towards the secrets in Act 2 that he's probably going to miss. Yeah, but if you remember if correctly, I'm not there to help him. If you remember correctly, last time we, we did a little bit of the Gamora stuff, I messed that up a little bit, so we're gonna go back and finish off Gamora, and I finished this whole area, beat the Trapper, beat Leshy, and we did it in pretty good fashion as well. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a dick here. It's Grimora, not Grimora. Gimora. I said Grimora. No, you said Gimora twice. It's like I meant you're saying it like so you're saying it like Sodom and Gomorrah. It's funny. I also told him about this side area. We got this salmon. Thanks. I yeah, guess. I find salmon in a box all the time. Ooh, we got a little, a little tail thing here. Click it. See what that does. Wonder if there's any yeah, so here. I'm. Ooh, is this the clover? I'm not gonna like. The clover for later. I'm not gonna tell him. I'm not gonna tell him what to do or how to play. I just wanna like guide him. Yeah. Sometimes I try this spot. Find good fish. Corrupted fish. Old fish. Interesting. Woof. <laughs> Probably saw that bridge is fixed. Now I want me to give you some deck building tips. Use your rare cards, they're more powerful. Thanks. But I'm sure you're sick of being around these scribes. Each has a more twisted ambition than the last, I tell you. Interesting. She okay. has more dialogue if you speak to her. She tells you about the world. Okay, cool. Leshy, that guy's insane. <laughs> Wants to use challenges like you as his playthings. I've gotten that idea already. To make it more perverse, he, um, he thinks she'll actually enjoy it. Oh yeah, try to use a mix of different types of cards. I know that, you stupid. Woof. PO3, that bot is planning something, alright? It's got the dredge... Dredger? Working over Dredger. Huh? Uh, many cards from other templates are better sacrifice fodder than a squirrel. For example, yeah, I know, I know, shut up. Grimora wants to bring it all down, I swear. But more as a mercy, I think. She's probably right. There's some pretty nasty data on this disc. You want to know about Magnificus? Magnificus? Mysterious guy. Magnificus. Man Magnificus. We yes. all have our own theories, of course. Some say he actually wants... No. Wants... No. It's too terrible to say. Woof. Woof. Ah, yeah, so too terrible to say. That, that uh, woman, her name is Rebecca. And she's actually from Daniel's other game, The Hat. Ah, cool. In I which guess... she is also a bridge-building character. <laughs> uh, I've got a look at these, is it? I can't remember. Is it these I've got a look at? Oh, the, you have to speak to... You have to speak to the ghouls. Because the tombstones are the characters' tombs. So you have to match up their tombstones with how they died. They tell you where the... F so the first thing is their name. And they just straight up tell you which one their name should be on. And from there it's up to you to infer based on what they tell you what the rest of the stuff should be. Far right tomb. So this is, this is this tomb. Yep, Royal Dominguez. Right, let's take everything out. And yeah. Can organize them a little bit better. I didn't it's realize funny, it's, when I first did this, I didn't realize just... it was a puzzle. 
like the yeah. I, I had to put into the right order. I was just slapping stuff into random places and not knowing what I was yeah. doing. Tombstone on the left. I'm guessing he's the icicle then, because he said burr. Yeah. Uh, Casey. It... Her name is Casey. And then this one. Um, they didn't say about this. The last headstone is more up to inference and a bit of guesswork, but it's not that bad given that. Tell me if you hold a grudge the, or not. Oh, the, <laughs> God damn the it. grudge against ice, that makes sense. Like, which one of these? It's got to be defibrillator failed, right? The other two don't make sense. The middle stone marks my grave. That is Sawyer. How do you know that? <laughs> she didn't tell me her because name. The, because the other one is royal. Oh, true. And process of elimination, turtle. I'm gonna guess the grudge, and then the last one's just... Ooh. Yeah. Well go. done. I have long maintained that Casey's being like the fucking the defibrillator failed makes no sense because who yeah. like looks at somebody with a huge chunk of ice in their brain and goes, "Yeah, zap him. He'll come right." Yeah, like, that, that, that's what. That's why I was confused. <laughs> But Marvelous. at the same I time, you have proven your wits adequate, and you prepared. You will not defeat me. Okay, carry on. Yeah, the um, but you can sort of figure it out through a little bit of guesswork and process of elimination because you can you can just you can figure it out. It's just not immediately obvious, and I think it's kind of silly. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, it's not that big of a deal. We've solved the puzzle. You must be excited, but please, do not bark. <laughs> you solved the riddle of the tombs, cheers to ye. Solve hey, the you... riddle of the tombs! I name, um, I'm named after one of the developers' inscription. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Hello, card seller boy. I don't need to do anything with you yet. But yeah, we're going to carry on through and uh, try and battle on Grimora. I want to try and make sure that just because never names here, I'm not like... It, it's, it's different how you do commentary when you've got someone with you. I don't want to... I don't want it to... What, I forget what this is. I don't... That changes your appearance. Oh, right. Okay. Um, That's just all it does. Okay. As far as anyone knows, it's it's just cosmetic. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't want to completely change my style of commentary on these episodes just because never names here, because obviously... Oh, no, yeah. He's just... He, I'm just here... I'm a friend. Basically, he's like he's like chilling. having the Wikipedia open, just in case I need it. <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, like a Wikipedia that will intentionally not spoil you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Let's uh, let's fight. So let's let's check my deck first. Let's see what we got going on here. Um, we got nine skeletons, which are great because they're just great fodder. Three mantis gods, a mole man, a bloodhound, two wolf cubs, two zombies, an insect uh, insect drone. And a necromancer. Uh, last now, time when I bit fought Leshy, I really liked this build. So if you think there's anything one, out of my build, I should maybe change. One up, thing I know. will I will point out: you can go over twenty cards in your deck. Oh. There's not there's no hard limit on how many cards in your deck. You need to have at least twenty, but you can go over. It just means that you have less of a chance of drawing the cards that you want if you fill up your deck. You know what okay, I mean? So taking my extra mantis got is a good idea. Yeah. And I, I just sort of... Just, just, should we just go through my cards and see if there's any others you think I should definitely have? Like, what about the um, Uruguli? Uruguli? Uruguli is certainly easier to play in Act 2 than in Act 1, but it's still very expensive. Yeah. Uh, I didn't find uh, the Mole Man to be all that useful, so I've only got one. Mole Man is, is very useful for defense, but he's useless for attacking. So. Yeah. Um... At least he's cheap. Got another wolf cub. I'll actually take another wolf cub. The wolf cubs are pretty useful. Um, Respect that. Grizzly's pretty good. I've got two of those, but they're again kind of expensive to play. 
hmm. to you, I'd say. Yeah. Okay, so let's go to our burn cards. Um, we've got Burn Heap. Now, Bone Heap is free, so... Yeah, I'll take Burn Heap uh, and I'll take Tomb Raider because they're both free. They're both pretty good. I didn't yeah. really find the Grave Digger or the Skelly Magus all that good. Grave Diggers are... Since they only caught... Since they only cost one bone, Grave Diggers are pretty essential for a if you're doing a bone focused deck. Yeah. You're not currently doing a bone focused deck though, so they're not as useful. Yeah. And Skelomagus was only bad because you had no Mox cards to play it. Yeah, true. Skelomagus is one of the most overpowered cards in the game, <laughs> but you just didn't have what you needed for it. Uh and then I don't really think anything else here is super worthwhile because they're all quite have quite high burn costs and then yeah. these cards i just they just don't fit into the deck that i'm building really at all energy energy is useful because it's basically it's time cost the farther you get into a battle that it basically becomes free over time yeah so but early on they are really bad so you don't want to absolutely fill up your deck with high energy cost cards and then I, th I feel and, like these just take too much setup for my bit for my deck as well. Yeah, Mox Mox is a very sort of dominant playstyle. It if you want to have Mox, it will dominate your deck. Yeah, you can't have like a little bit of Mox on the side. It's it's all or nothing basically yeah, yeah, yeah. with Mox. And while Mox can be very powerful, you need to build around it. So I. I'd say not having any is a good choice. Okay, so just just before we get into this battle, people, do remember I am very out of practice right now. There's a good chance that I do a lot of misplays. Never Named is probably going to help point out what I do wrong after I do it, rather than tell yeah. me how to play. Um, and I I'll, I'll I do my best to sort of. If I end up having a really hard time, yeah. If I end up having a really hard time, Never Named can help out. But otherwise, it's just going to be me struggling. <laughs> so yeah. just. just I apologize if I'm playing poorly, but my deck is pretty good, so I think we'll be okay. Uh, beginning to worry, yeah, I, um, I would be sealed away behind those tombstones forever. Locked down at the mercy of the challenger's wits until one day discovered. I see that your ambition is to become the scribe of the dead. I think you are aware that I am currently holding that title, but it matters not because you shall not win. And guard. I like the music. My minions never truly die, you know. Let's see how you fare. We got a Mantis God off the back. Also, we got the Clover. Clover? Now. In Act 2, Clover is a reroll of your opening hand. So if you don't yeah. like your, the opening I'm hand, actually that you really, draw, you I'm can actually really it. happy with my opening hand right now. Oh, yeah, no, um, that's amazing. That's a great opening I think, hand. I think I want to play Mantis God here. Wait, what? What am I doing? Sacrifices. Oh, it's a sacrifice one, of course. I'm stupid. Um, so let's just. Put that there. Didn't really think that through. Um, probably lost a Mantis God pretty much straight away there. You can bait it away. I can bait it away. You're right. Didn't really play that right. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay. One Ding. cub isn't the end of the world. No, no, no. I've got a few cubs. Okay. We got this dude, we've got a few, we've got three burns, so he could be useful. This is the guy, activate to increase power and health. We can only do it once though, and he won't survive a hit. It's not great. One thing in Inscription that I've noticed you not really doing is you don't look at the numbers enough. What do you mean the numbers? Because a card might have one health, but its health doesn't matter if it kills the opponent before the opponent can attack. Yeah, but this guy's got... Wait, is it, he's got two health, one damage, right? Or one health? No, Which one? two damage, one okay, health. Okay, so it should be fine. Health then, is actually. on the right. And I'm, that, that, that's yeah. where I... That's the that's mistake. Like I said, I'm out of practice. Yeah. That's the mistake I made there. I can't actually kill yeah, this guy. That, so if I, if I that's just sort off. of what I'm trying to do. Yeah, just yeah, trying yeah. to help you with that stuff. An opportunity to use my quill. Interesting. Hmm. This one will be back. Dead. You're halfway there. Though you may not like what comes next. Intriguing. Oh, 
Oh, you. You better not take my bloody cards. Do you miss them? Fear not. I'll give you them back, of course, as corpses. Ooh, so how does this work? Then This is really intriguing. The corpse has no power. Ah, I see. But this guy can be beefed up by burns. That doesn't matter to me. Hmm. How exactly would I beef up this guy's power again? So let's just play this guy for now and we can, we can grow him stronger and back to where he was before. And I guess I just play a burn here to get some extra damage out. Skeleton claps into a pile of burns. That's fine by me. And we'll pop that again. Grow our burn heap stronger. Hmm. I'm not going to take too much damage by doing this. I'm just going to go for it. I'd rather get the damage on her. RIP to the Banshee. That won't be back in no time. Okay, we're doing pretty decent. I'm just hoping I... Oh. Why? Okay, why, when did that guy get three damage? He had zero before. He had the Evolve Sigil, and ah. the Sarcophagus evolves into a Mummy Lord. Okay, that was my bad. That was my bad. Okay, we're hitting the scales a little bit in our favor again, don't worry. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, no, 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 I'm good, I'm good. Stop drawing skeletons! <laughs> That's the, the bad part of filling your deck with skeletons, is that deck is full of skeletons. I thought I drew more than one card a turn, though. <laughs> I don't know why, but because I don't. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. We'll go again. Let's let's just take some of these skeletons out of our deck this time. So let's go back down to eight. Just to make sure they don't completely dominate our deck. Another attempt. Very well. I'm still buzzing from the last one. Buzzing. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, right. Grimora's okay. bussin'. Grimora's... F I'm, f I'm fucking ballin'. So, right. I think we go like that, like that, like that. And then you can go over there. Oh, another thing I noticed you not utilizing was the hammer. The hammer? below the scales. In Act 2, you can kill your own cards with the hammer. I did not know that. I, I didn't even know that existed. It's mainly, like, if you desperately need a bone to yeah. play something, you can kill something, or if you need space to play a card. That's, that's that, that definitely would have been helpful in a few different situations, so I can understand that. Um... Hmm... I'm just gonna play you to make sure you do some damage to that guy. Oh, actually, it's probably a bit, bit more important. Okay, that was good damage. Good damage. And we got a zombie. We can play the zombie. We'll play you there. Um. Now, it, I think it's actually worth sacrificing these two and playing this guy. Let me inscribe this one. I love- I think Act 2's combat's way more enjoyable. I like it a lot. It's a lot more about building a good deck than building a good card. Yeah. Live again. Okay, so you'll deal a bit of damage to me there. Put you there as a bit of fodder. And we do really good damage to her here. Should tip the scale on the next turn, hopefully. You're back in. Can upgrade you. Only once, though, unfortunately. Don't want to kill any other cards to upgrade you. But that's going to tip the scales once. That's halfway there. Okay, that's fine, I think. As long as we get some good draws on the next turn here. Okay, so basically these are now fodder just to block, to, to block enemies. Yes, but the so... sigils do still work. Okay. Oh wait. Okay. So let's uh, let's go place you two down. Sacrifice both of you. You don't need two sacrifices. Oh, I don't know. You're right. You're right. You're right. Um, and then put you here, I guess, and power you. 
Okay, that works. Tip the scale a little bit in our favour. Oh, Bloodhound, you stupid idiot. I was hoping you'd stay in front of that. Okay, but we got our wolf now, and we got our mantis god. Okay, we'll put our mantis god here, because the, uh, the... You need a sacrifice I for do, it. I do, I do, I do. You're right, you're right. Um... See, that's just, that's just why I'm here, to remind you yeah, about yeah, the mechanics. Yeah. I'm just, I should probably sacrifice... Do you know, this is difficult. I'm going to get hit by three for this guy, no matter what. That's just going to happen. It for has two, two sorry. damage, for two, not for two, three. Sorry, yeah. I'm going to get hit for two for this guy, no matter what. That's just going to happen. But do I sacrifice this guy and risk this guy evolving? Because then he's going to hit me for a lot more. Can I keep this in my hand and just play? That's probably the better idea, I think, maybe. Yeah. Remember, you don't have to play something every turn. Yeah, I think that's maybe the better idea, because then I can upgrade and this, I, I, kill the sarcophagus. I have, I have sort of noticed you doing that in Act 1. You you sort of have played at times as though you have to do something each turn. Like, you sacrifice something to play something worse, sort of because I guess you felt you had to do something. Yeah, I'm going to When you could have just pressed play. Yeah. I need some fodder yeah. to uh, to play these Mantis Gods, but I'm almost there already. Okay, there you go. So we'll, we'll do that. You can't move, so that's good. Goodbye, zombie. And this should win us it, right? Bit of excess damage as well. Foils gained. Very nice. Oh. Oh dear. Hey, there you go. Very nice. I think the build, the, the deck that I've got is just quite strong. I have some very good cards. Indeed. Mantis you... God is OP. Yeah. And I got four of them. <laughs> yeah, you, you really defeated me. I was not expecting that. You won't replace me, will you? Your ambition is to take my title, but there is something you may not know. There will come an opportunity to change your mind, and I beg you spare me. Take these, then go. Right, is there anything in there that you see as being, like, I should definitely be using? Well, I mean, I did say that Skelamagus was OP, but your deck is just isn't built for it, so I'd say nothing's too amazing. Okay. We got another one. Tomb Raider. Tomb Robbers, good, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh... But Tomb Robber's the only really good one. The uh, the two bone cards are very costly, Oop. and uh, Energy Bot is really only useful in an energy deck. I don't know what just happened here. We get more lore. Yeah. Intriguing. Are these all new, I'm guessing? Yes, these are all new. I think I've just got to send it. To whom it may concern. It's a bit formal. Hello there! Exclamation point. My name is Luke Carter, and I'm a fan of your collectible card games. If you've ever taken a look at my YouTube videos, you will know how appreciative I am of the merch that you've sent me over the years. So it was a great surprise to learn that there is a digital version of Inscription. I think maybe one of my fans pranked me and buried a copy in the woods near my house. Upon further research, however, I have not been able to find any record of this game. Is this some kind of elaborate hoax? Any trace of this game? Is this some kind of elaborate hoax? The game doesn't seem like the work of a prankster. It at least appears professionally made. I am both puzzled and excited by this discovery. Any information you can provide would be much appreciated. Thank you, the Lucky Carter. Okay, good enough. Sent. Intriguing. <clears throat> hey, card gamers, I'm the Lucky Carter, and this, well, it's a bit of a strange video. Um, it's actually more of a question to my audience. As I've learned over the years, nobody knows card games better than you guys do, so I'm hoping someone can help me out here. Did anyone ever play an Inscription video game? 
or hear about it. I'm talking about that vintage one set card game I opened packs for last week. I don't know what I'm allowed to say. I don't want to get in any trouble here. Um, I think I've got the only known copy of the digital version of Inscription. I've been uh, filming myself playing it and uh, it's weird, guys. <laughs> uh, I don't want to get in any hot water by showing the footage, but can someone please prove me wrong? Please tell me someone has a copy of this game. I have been looking online for days and I cannot find a word about it. I reached out to the publishers hoping maybe they would get back to me. But as a fallback, I got you beautiful viewers. Hopefully dig up something. Um, that's it. <laughs> that's the video today, guys. Uh, thank you so much, as always. And, um, oh yeah, uh, what the fuck is the card? Oh, damn. <laughs> what the heck? Mr. Carter, we have received your inquiry regarding a digital version of our intellectual property inscription. I assure you that no such software exists in any official form. However, if you have indeed come into possession of proprietary game cleaner hardware, you are compelled to return it to us under the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act. The hardware will be considered stolen if it is not returned to us within a reasonable time frame. Please carefully package the hardware and paste the attached shipping label to the front of the box. You may mail the package at a local post office. We would like to avoid taking legal action in your case, so please do not delay returning the proprietary software. Sincerely, Game Funa, Customer Happiness Department. What the fuck? Agreed. Oh lord. I think this woman's actually from Game Funa. She came to my door yesterday, and I didn't answer. This time I'm gonna record it. Hi! Hi there! Hey. I'm floppy disk for a game called Inscription. I was told you came by a copy of it somehow. Uh... Sound familiar? No! No? No, I don't know anything about that. Really? Inscription, you said? Yes. No, I don't think so. Really? Because, um, apparently you emailed us about it. You are, uh, Luke Carter, right? Oh. You know the luckycarter gmail.com? Yeah, uh, you know what? That's, uh, I am Luke Carter, but that's not my email address. Really? Because, uh, I just noticed because I've seen your videos. Oh. <laughs> I'm a big fan. Oh. Well, <laughs> thanks for watching. Listen, uh, how do you know where I live? Exactly. My boss gave me your address. And how did you get past the side gate? It's locked. <laughs> okay, look. Um, I'm going to give you my business card. And if you remember anything, anything at all, feel free to give me a call. Okay? Will do. Take care. It just ends every single video with what the fuck. I mean, that's what you do, isn't it? Pretty much. <laughs> this hey is getting there, very interesting. Gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is another pack opening video. Today I'm opening Secrets of Legendaria. Hoping for that sweet, sweet foil Thalamir. Losing it. The uh, the the like screen effect that's currently on at the minute, where it's like makes it look like like a retro sort of thing. Do you know where it's like all pixely? On yeah. OBS, it's all sorts of messed up. It looked completely yeah. It's on gonna OBS. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna mess with shit. But um, yes, I was very excited for you to play this because your name is Luke and you yeah. are <laughs> a YouTuber named Luke playing a game about a YouTuber named Luke. <laughs> yeah. And I just find that endlessly amusing. It is funny. Okay, let's stop. Like I, I have, I have actively told, been like, yeah, my friend Luke's playing this game called Inscription. 
it's like it's very it, it's it's such a cheesy like dad joke to make like yeah. <laughs> observational comedy your name is the same as that guy's name but it, it, it's funny to me yeah it is it is <laughs> right let's move on so i think we've i think we're pretty set to head to the next island now um, there is a new friend to the right new friend to the right oh mushroom Oh, it's this dude, mycologist. You found us here. This is good. We require, we require, we require duplicates. Do you see the diagram? Two of that. Thank you. Do I have that? You have the cards? Yes. This is good. Close your eyes. This will be gruesome. Thank you. Here is your prize. At the end of the owner's turn, Spore Digger will generate one burn. Also, will digger it, generate one burn. Interesting. Do you see the diagram? Two of that, please. Close your eyes. I want to get mantis gods. Give me mantis gods. Would you like to see what we've done? When the spore mice is played, a copy of it is created in your hand. Okay, so it just duplicates the effect. It gives us two of the sigils. Look how it duplicates. See the diagram? Two of the same. Okay, I don't have them. Is that one Sentry of the things that you, said, that you said you need to farm for? Yeah. Two of these are done. Nice. Also, I believe you said there was something in the Beast Trader shop that you wanted last time. Oh, it was a Roboros, wasn't it? You wish to trade? Still can't afford it though. Still can't. But if you notice, it's a 5-5. Five five. Yeah, it carries over from Act 1, doesn't it? Yes. Intriguing. It's a special little boy. Ooh, one moment. I've got a like... lot of Discord messages. One sec. Oh, okay, lovely. we're back. We're back. We're back. Let's carry on. So na next we go to the new island. Which boss do you reckon I take on first? Which one do you think is going to be better? Um, go tech, I'd say. Tech. Ooh, I love this area. Really cool. Challenge me. Let's see your deck. Weak cards. Total lack of synergy. Look, I'm trying to finish up my conduit control list here, but the bots they set they're sending down here, down the line, are trash. Get those workers to send me something good. Tell them to throw themselves on the line if necessary. And please, have a decent deck by the time you're done. We do also need to actually take the um, merged card that we just got and put it on our deck, wherever that was, um, here. You don't need to take the merged card. I don't need card. to, but the, the spore digger sounds pretty good. Yeah, it's it's just two grave diggers in one slot, Yeah, basically. It's, it's genuinely one of the best bone generation cards in the whole game. I love the music in here as well, it's so eerie. You rummage through the junk and find a card pack. Nice. Oh, fuck's sake. This is another one of these puzzles. Yeah, I'm really bad at these. I don't understand how they work at all. Would you like, um... You have a couple of goes at it, and then I'll I'll give an explanation if you'd like. I have a couple of goes. I'm just going to randomly click things and hope it works. No, uh, genuinely try, and if it doesn't work out, I can just I can explain the solution. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I, I don't even know. Ow. <laughs> so you need to do five damage, basically. To what? Do you see to to the opponent? Where's the opponent? <laughs> 
the, the opponent is, is an empty space. So on your side of the board, there needs to be enough cards to do five damage if a, if this turn would pass in a normal game. So if you take a look, right? Did it. Oh, you did it. Well done. <laughs> uh, I was going to explain the logic so you could actually get better <laughs> at the game and progress. Well, just dumb luck works too. <laughs> yeah. Dumb luck will get you through a card game. Hmm, a cat, uh, cat might be pretty good to put on my deck, actually. <laughs> Shane Dawson moment. Oh, God. <laughs> right. So this uses conduit sigils. That's two. Still zero. I should probably explain the way conduits work. So you see those those ones that look like they have circuits on them? Yeah. You're not even listening to me, are you? I, I, I'm, I'm listening. I'm just messing around as I so, do. When those, when two of those conduits are side by side, they are on the board. Any cards between them gain a certain effect. Okay. And the one on the left is a plus one conduit. So any cards in a between a circuit made by those two cards gain plus one damage. There you go. Nice. Dumb luck strategy works. I can't I understand it, but I just messed around until it worked. <laughs> yeah. I mean it's not my it's not my my problem if you look dumb. <laughs> cough cough. Right, what we got going on here? This is a another puzzle that's sort of meant to teach you the basics of conduits. Yeah. So, I'm guessing it's just that, yeah. Intriguing. A lot of card packs of cards I won't use. <laughs> so, when I first played through Act 2, I went for a Mox Focus deck. Yeah, which was I, a very I, big... It was a I very large learning that. curve. I stayed away from that. Very big learning curve. What Mox is it? What do you want? Be, oh, oh. I'll just leave you to this. Yeah. Ooh, one minute. I'm getting a call. One second. Okay, I am back. I'm very busy here. What? p 3 isn't happy with my output, but I'm merely the inspector. To put better bots on the line, I would need to... Just who are you? To be carrying orders from P03. Would only trust someone with semblance of card game skill. I'm very busy, but I must know if you are qualified to give me orders. Oh, it's a, it's a battle. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> okay. Right. Pretty happy with this hand, actually. This boss uses conduits against you. This is a boss? <laughs> it's a mini boss. It's a, you know, the, the scribes are all like, fight my three underlings yeah, yeah. and then you fight me. So it's a mini boss. And it's using a conduit against you. So I've got to take out the conduits to remove the power from this guy. Yes, any cards in that circuit gain plus one power. Nice. Easy. Stomped him. Must indeed be genuine. As I mentioned, I'm a mere inspector, not an engineer, not a designer. I cannot send new bots down the line, but I can send myself. I am proud to have served P03 fearfully. Well met, stranger. Bye! Okay, so... Easy. Oh, I'm, the... I'm stupid, yeah. Yeah, I just realised that. <laughs> at, at least it, you know, stayed in the places you put them. Yeah. That uh, one on the end is, is a breaker, basically. It, it prevents a circuit from passing through it in this puzzle. Okay. That doesn't do anything, so... Yeah. You need to put all the cards on before you can... Oh, I can take... I see, I see.
Yeah, this one confuses me a lot. I don't know what I'm doing. So, you need to get the, uh... I, I have no Basically. idea what I'm doing here. <laughs> Basically, the negative one is messing you up. Because you're trying to fill up these spaces. And... Okay, so... Plus zero doesn't take anything away. It can complete a circuit. So you want to make a circuit where the numbers inside of it will count up to five. So if you take away the plus zero for an empty thing, just to, so the numbers show what they actually are, the numbers one plus one is two, and two plus two is three, and those together make five. So you need to, you can wrap your circuit around a one and a two, basically. I still don't know what you mean. Ow. <laughs> Put the plus one that. on the left, there, yes, and then, like that. And the breaker uh, prevents the negative, the breaker okay, prevents okay. the negative one I didn't, from I didn't realize one. I could just, like, fob the other cards off and not have them be part of the circuit. <laughs> That's what the breaker's for. Yeah. Okay. Ha 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 ha. What was that? We are, I am the melter. They send me raw materials and I, well, you can see how it works. Not another word out of you. We must have a card battle. I'm gonna stomp you as well, fella. You know it. Pretty messed up. I'm gonna reroll that. This is better. So unfortunately, sacrificing the cat doesn't give me any bones. Yep, because it didn't die, so you don't get a bone. Okay. We're looking good here. Easy. And what, nice. one off the Ouroboros as well now. Excellent battle. Now with that aside, what did you come to tell me? Which is for better bots with this scanner? That is difficult, you see. I melt the metal, but I cannot reprogram the stamping machine. There is a way to send at least one new bot down the line. <laughs> Everyone's just sacrificing themselves permanently, it's funny. Right. Yeah. Sacrifice is funny. I like the way they die. Oh, you sick fuck! You sick fuck! Now you only need to get you only need to get three in this one. Okay, that was pretty easy. Nice. My small brain. You're getting the hang of Comprehend it. these these big numbers. Okay, so yeah, number puzzles. Am I right? They're the pinnacle of difficulty. No, I don't understand this one. So, they need to add up to five. I'm just trying to think myself. Because I'm, I'm, you know, not actually very good at these. It's all about... Yeah, so you probably want to... My yeah. brain is small. Oh, there we go. You solved it. I did it. Let's go. Okay, this is tricky stuff, but I'm getting the hang I, th of it. I think I think you'll like this guy. Can I do a voice, please? <laughs> if you want to do, do a voice. Just to upset you. Just to upset you. Is it going to be some stupid Delta Rune cringe or something? Oh, Where the hell am I going? 
Hey, mate! I know what you're oh, here for. <laughs> you're asking me to take a dive. <laughs> but I can't accommodate you, mate. Got special orders, innit? Looking to dredge something special. We can duel, I maybe even give you something if you win. But I can't be taking a dive. PO3 will be understanding. Wow. <laughs> I just I just like doing that. It's fun. I let me have fun, you monster. You need to Remember you have get the bashed. Roll. No, not bash. Man, can't take me eyes off me work here. I'll give you this one. Okay. <laughs> He's very busy. Here, take your pack. <laughs> That's not even a fight. That's funny. And off with you. I need to concentrate. Oi! Is that? BO3's got a reward made big for us. And... <laughs> Alright then. Okay, where the hell do I go now? Do you see what he just dumped on the conveyor? Some sort of big beastie, some corrupted thing. Oh yes. god. Yes, yes. Do I have to wait for this to go all the way around? You don't have to wait for it. Where do I go though? Back up. Okay. I didn't realise I could go back up. So you've defeated the three minions? I have. One of them just gave you the fight. Has, has anyone made a mod that makes them into actual minions yet? I'm gonna strangle you. <laughs> the bots haven't Not doing gotten his much voice. better. <laughs> but you battled all of my workers and you actually won? Give me that deck again. Wow. You beat them with that? Alright. Maybe there's some synergies that I missed. Let's go then. Ooh, what the hell is this? <laughs> You see those conveyor belts just like my factory. At the very least, they ought to test your positioning. Oh god. Um. This is strange. Wait, if they go up there, do they become his? Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Intriguing. Tell you what, though, playing that Mantis God helped me out quite a lot. <laughs> Stop fucking giving me skeletons, you stupid shit of a game. Well, if they come down here, do they become mine? Yeah. Hmm. I don't have any blood. I can't play the card. Oh, I'm dead. Three damage isn't necessarily dead. Why did I play that there? It was so stupid. Please kill me. Wait, I'm on 10 plus. I thought, do I have 12 health now for some reason? Look, look at the bar above the, the thing. Oh, okay. It shows you where you are. Yeah, let's just, let, just let me lose so I can try again, please, because this went really poorly. You're not doing as badly as you think you are. That was a terrible decision. Oh shit, Actually, I didn't realize it was that, a fucking that hound. I didn't realize it was a hound. Oh wait, I killed the hound. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yep, the explode bot was the explode bot was next to the hound, and you killed the explode bot, which killed the hound. Stop! Now the thing, the What's thing with battles is they don't last forever. 
So you can actually win in a lip in a battle of attrition. Oh right, okay. So if I just last long enough, I'll win. Because said, eventually, when the creature you earn dies, it returns to life and dies again immediately. Because the opponent doesn't have infinite cards. See how he's not playing anything? Yeah. It's because he has nothing to play. Because even though you didn't do super well, you outlasted him. Yeah. You can play that zombie and then sacrifice it. Oh, not sacrifice. Actually, it's the same damage. <laughs> Just for a little bit of extra overkill. Oh, scanners online. Which cards to scan? Just kidding. Obviously the ones with the best stats. <laughs> no! Not my Mantis God. <laughs> you what? What? No thanks. I mean, I suppose they do Didn't become mine. Face, dude, did you? <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. Wait, why am I... No, stupid. Stop, stop. No, I don't want to place this card. Cancel. You have to. You can kill it, though, with the hammer. If you really... Yeah. I don't want it to have that. That's that's just bad. To be fair, killing those Manic Skulls was a piece of piss. I didn't, didn't think that it'd be so easy. Yeah, I um... mean, you play first. That's the, the big deal. Hmm. You have a cat, by the way, so if you want to play... No, but if I, if I or... don't kill the Mantis, he gains it, right? But Actually, consider... no, but it'll, it'll die via the other Mantis, so... It'll be fine. And I just won anyways. I was just going to point out that you would win next turn. <laughs> yeah. Nice luck you had. Look, you're just a scrub. Because playing a perfect game is no match for good RNG. Okay, we've defeated another one. And I would say it'd be a good idea to go and kill the final boss, but both never named is limited on battery power because his laptop is a piece of shit. And I am limited on time because I have someone over. So we are yeah, going has... to leave it there. The ambition is to become the scribe of the dead. A native spinster you ought to reconsider. Naive. Na uh, I thought Naive, said native. not native. <laughs> You're just uh, racist. I am. But anyways, that was a really quick battle. We, we absolutely stomped that dude. I told you, my deck is just incredibly strong. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this next episode of Inscription. We'll probably end up heading into Act 3 in the next episode. Um, but we've also got some secrets to uncover, as Nevername said, and some farming to do to unlock some of those yeah, secrets. Yeah, so honestly, I'll, I'll probably join again next time if yeah. I can. Because yeah, Act 2... Act... If anyone's going to join Act 2 is the best act to do. Yeah, I'm going to say, as long as people are happy for Nevenem to join, as long as people enjoy these episodes, then he will join again. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one.